Hi, Pat here. I have an Akai reel to reel tape deck. It's my old 1730D SS. And it's a four channel tape deck. And they made these between 1973 and 1976. It really is quite clean. Everything looks real good on it. Side looks good. Back here, that screw's loose. That one's missing. Guy scratch his name in here. And he written his social security number there. It's really quite common back in the day. Social security number was nothing more than a social security number. I got a four track tape on. I don't have a four track stereo. My guy on the front right now. And I am going both sides of that. I'm going to switch over to the rear and see what happens. I got hooked up to the rear inputs. And you see the low one on the right ain't moving. And I ain't getting no sound out that side. So, we'll be looking at that first thing. Uh, the first thing I did, I cleaned and demagnetized all these heads. And they all look pretty nice. Really don't see no sign of wear. I really don't expect nothing out of this. But I'll put the tape through again and see what happens. I got tape running through again. And just as before, the top meters are going. That meter goes. There's nothing on that meter. Now, notice if I push buttons, the meters will jump. Every meter but that meter. So, I'm going to have to dig in a little farther to see what I can find. I took a little bit of this stuff here. And I just kind of sprayed into that switch. And that switch down there. And there's a wafer switch down there that I sprayed with it. And now, turn on the power. And that meter there wasn't jumping before. But now they're all jumping. So I'm going to put tape in. See if it plays. Now it's starting to freak out. That's a little strange. Well, I'm going to try tape. See if it plays this time. I got tape back on. And as you see, that needle's working right now. I'm getting sound out of both speakers. Amazing, you know, this little cleaning will do. And I'll have to get at it with my DX once I tear into it farther. But at least that problem's solved. And I'm gonna take a look at the rest of it now. The inside of this thing's looking quite nice. All the rubber appears to be in good shape. It's let's see. Everything's running good. I gotta straighten that thing out, it's a little bent. That side's nice and straight. But it is a little dusty. I'm take a little can of air. And blow the dust out of there. I'll pull all these things off, usually one at a time up the rubber and just a little needle oiler just put a couple drops of oil in there and I'll do that these other two I took this little piece off the spindle here and I very carefully bent that to where it's straight again and it's probably not 100% perfect, but it's pretty good. 
Let's see if I get it back together. I got the molder loose here. And then there's a screw there they wanted you to take out, put a couple drops of oil in. And another one there. And the same on this side right there. Also got this pulley out. Took it apart. Need to clean that up a little bit. And I got some oil in there. And now let's see if I get it back together. I've got things back together. And things are playing. And it's just the rear two channels. Well, it's looking good. But still having problems with this meter. Usually it's in these buttons here. I can't get it to work. Then it doesn't. So I'm definitely going to have to take those switches apart and clean them. But everything else is working good. And it's running a lot quieter. Seeming a lot nicer. So, so far so good. I took this switch apart. This is the tape source switch, which I believe was the problem with the right channel for the rear. And you see all those slides down here. Clean all those up. And on this part, I didn't use all the switches, just use these three here and those three there. Now there's six of these slides on each of these switch, but I only use two of them. So I'm going to put the best two up front here and get it back together. I got this switch back together. And on this other switchboard here, I did replace these four caps. They were 10 volts, 33 microfarads. I replaced them with 16 volts, 33 microfarads. And here's a reading on one of the new ones. Not bad, 32.6 microfarads. The ESR 0.7. Right, let me put one of the old ones on. There's one that came out. And it reads 40 microfarads, 1.4 ESR. I found quite often when I take out these old caps, they read higher than the new ones. Don't know why. And I got tape on again. And one bottom meter down here that I was having problems with seems to be working fine. I'm not losing it. So I think cleaning that switch solved that problem there. Here's the power supply board. Really isn't that much to it. I guess it's good enough. And I did replace the caps on these. And I'll mount right back on there. I got the playback board here. And the record board over here. I did recap both of these. And there were some 2SC 458s that are known to be noisy. And there's four of them on this board, two on this board. I replaced them with a KSC 1845s. Now, as I went, these boards are the same, so I, I kind of took them out one at a time, make sure I got all the polarities in there right. And I even took a black and white picture of each board and marked down the values and all the polarities. And I got everything right. I just got to do these other two boards. I got everything back together. Right now I'm just going to put the scope on the recording. See how things look. Oh, back here. I got my scope hooked up to the output. And the input I'm putting in the signal. I'm on the front speakers. So. Let me turn it on. Right now I got the button in source. Let me adjust the view meters. I got them just about zero. So, go ahead. 
hit record and switches over to tape and the view meters are close and there's the output of my scope that's on the tape and that's on the source I'll take a look at the rear channels I'm hooked up to the rear channels and I got this on source got it set to 0 dB and switch over the tape and it's close always a little adjustment needed there is on the scope the output and that's the source so everything's looking good I did a little recording on it I did the front side right now I'm on the back side see the beer meters are working fine and everything is sounding good I just want to show it spinning a little fast forward it's running nice quiet not too much noise brakes ain't the greatest but it does stop ain't no slack in the wire and a rewind will go I got four track tape on but well, I just got stereos I got on the front speakers right now and I'm going to switch over to the back ones I got it hooked up to the rear speakers now a lot of bass coming out of the back but everything's looking good this thing came out real nice thanks for watching the video